Hey, what's going on guys? Today is March 9th, 2024. I um, just want to give you guys an update on our Afonso mango tree. This mango is huge. We pruned it uh, a few years ago. I forgot when, because the cold, uh, cold frost killed it. Uh, pretty much it died all the way down here. See right there? That's where we pruned all the way. See that right there? See, this is all new growth right here. And it's flowering now. So, it took two years to recover from uh, the cold frost that uh, killed this uh, tree here. Sit back here, look at the beautiful flower. It's pushing, even though there's a uh, kind of mildew because there's no airflow here, uh, down here. So, but it's still flowering, doing uh, really healthy. And it only on the bottom though, so. Yep, see how it's only in the bottom. And when you look at top, beautiful, look at it. This is a beautiful tree, I love beautiful uh, mango flowers, so beautiful. I'm trying to zoom in right here. So. It hasn't set any fruit yet, but there's a lot of bees, a lot of uh, flies uh, pollinating it. So you can see one right there just flew by. Just happy that, uh, you know, kind of missed this uh, mango here. It was delicious. A lot of people, uh, when we give it to them, try it. They didn't like it because, you know, it was already starting to, uh, went from sour to to ripe, you know. The the stage is already passed. We told them, like, you know, the sourness stage is already passed. You know, you got to just let it sit, let it ripe. But, you know, instead, you know, they eat it so early and then it tastes nasty to them. They said this mango is the worst they had, but... That's on them, you know, human error. At uh, the south stage, it was already past. But, you know, so you gotta just gotta let it golden ripe now. This is one of the best mango I've ever had. That's why we haven't even cut this tree down yet. It's so delicious. We're gonna keep it. Even though it's so close to the house. But, you know, we're probably gonna prune it after the season, so. This is one of the best mango I've ever had. Look at that, a lot of flowers. What the hell's going on over there? A lot of flowers. Loving it. flowers every branch so you just can't miss it so, and this one here uh, hopefully it's, uh, it's starting to flower also because two years ago it flowered for the first time and uh, this tree is so rotten it snapped and then we have to just cut it down and this one's the only one that branched too. I mean, flower. So hopefully, we keeping this tree for now. Just want to see what type of uh, mango it is, because we haven't even tried it yet. The flower for the first time two years ago, and ended up dying because of the cold and it snap on its own weight because it's rotten inside because of a uh, freaking disease and termite and all that stuff. So. So keep this for now. Just want to taste uh, how the mango is, and if it's good, we're gonna probably gonna graph it on some other seedlings or something. Graph it on the, the, the other tree. That's why we haven't cut it down yet. I right. just want to give you guys an update on the mango tree. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And have a good day.